Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Pokemon Fire Red. So, we got the Silph Scope, and that means we can finally figure out what this stupid ghost thing is. And oh, it's Marowak, so it's the Cubone's mother. So, this thing is quite angry, and I can't say I blame it. But, oh, this is going to hurt. I was hoping I would be able to take it out on one shot, but that was nowhere near the case. But, hopefully we should kill him now. And, just to think, that thing would have killed me if not for the burn. So, I got a bit lucky there. Whatever. Zippo leveled up, that's all I'm really worried about. And he's going to learn Slash, so... That's actually quite good. Right, so, so Gratch is 40 and Slash is 70. So there's no question that Slash has a pretty darn good critical hit ratio, I do believe. So, you know, kicking its ass somehow calms it down. I'm not sure. But I've learned not to question these things. So let's go ahead and head up here and more Team Rocket. What the heck are you just doing standing here, like in the middle of a cult meeting or some crap, dude? Okay. Zubat. Awesome. More terrifyingly powerful Pokemon. So Sparky and Zibbo can actually go back to utterly destroying everything they run into. At least at this point. So, you know, I wanted to cheer them up a bit after they got completely raped in the fighting dojo. So here we are. Taking on Team Rocket. And there's Zubat. Awesome. Okay. Now that Zubat's down, and I'm betting on a Golbat. Yep. It's a Golbat. So. Yeah. Just the weirdest looking bat you'll ever see. How do those wings support that head? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure you won't. Okay. And... Dude, that guy... What? All he did was kill Marowak. Jeez. Oh, goodness gracious. This... That guy... You know what? Out of my way. I want to talk to that guy. Uh... Probably a member of PETA. We're gonna have to stop these people. Okay. Just gonna have to stop that old man. So if you could kindly stop fighting me and just move out of the way, I'll take care of him myself. Oh, lovely. Just lovely. <sighs> Okay, can you die now? Okay, then. So... Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with you, man. Okay. I, I, I do. I totally agree with that guy. Which means we need to go talk to that old man after I give Sparky uh, an antidote. Or full heal, sorry. Oh, I'm not here to save him, I'm here to talk to him about his whiny nature. I mean, how dare you complain about you killing a Pokemon? Gosh, man. I will not stand for this. So, another crappy Zubat. Goodbye. And now a Rattata. I do find it kind of funny that the game uh, portrays Team Rocket as evil for like abusing Pokemon when you pretty much enslave them to do your fighting. But, you know, whatever. Uh, who am I to question, Nintendo? Goodbye, Raticate. 
And can we please take out this stupid Team Rocket? These guys are starting to get on my nerves. But, so that Zubat is now dead. Okay. I'm sure I'm not. Okay, buddy boy. No, I came here to tell you to stop being a whiny old man. Yeah, I already know that. It told me itself. Well, kind of. Um. Okay. So, we got the Poke Flute. Which wakes up sleeping Pokemon. Which means we can finally wake up that stupid fat Snorlax who's been blocking the way through that stinking route for ages and forced me to go through Rock Tunnel, which I completely despise. So, there's only one thing to do now. We are going to make our way to that Snorlax and teach it a lesson. Oh, okay. Whatever. Um, nothing there. What's over here? Oh, okay. See Daisy. Oh, okay, what's going on, pal? That. Eh. Really. Okay, let's check out this view. So we get return, I believe. Yep. So. As happiness increases, so does the move's power. So, it's kind of the opposite of frustration. Oh, really? Oh, there's a guy fishing. I didn't see him when I passed by. And, as you can clearly see, that thing is facing north. But, all the fishermen are to the south. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Alrighty. So, he likes to fish, and now we gotta take out this stupid Goldeen, but it's all gonna be worth it once I reach that Snorlax, let me tell you. Okay, Goldeen's dead, now Poliwag. Awesome. More trainers with quite powerful Pokemon. Okay, so... Poliwag is dead. And now another Goldeen. Awesome. Just what the doctor ordered, clearly. Alrighty then. So something without black or green eyes, now that I notice, or I mean black or red eyes, this thing actually has green eyes. So that's a decent change for once. Okay, congratulations. Okay, buddy boy. No, really? Gee. I, I I didn't know that. Are you supposed to sit on your tackle box? I'm not sure that's the best idea, but... Um, whatever, I've got a mouse fighting a jellyfish, so... Why am I bothering to question whether a guy should sit on his tackle box? There are more pressing concerns at this point. Like, fighting a fish that has a horn growing, growing out of its head. But, now that fish is dead. And that rhymed. I should, like, do poetry or something. I, I would be awesome at it, I'm sure. Oh, okay, I'm sure you would. It's not that you just suck at fishing to begin with. Oh, boy. Another fisherman. So he's got a goldine. I didn't see that coming. But what I did see coming was this goldine dying to a thunderbolt. So, there you go, I'm at least somewhat psychic. Okie dokie, what do you say? I'm sure I can't. I do actually enjoy fishing quite a bit, but I 
don't think you guys have gone fishing in like almost three years. The only time I really do is during the summer when I go up to Oregon for like a week or two and then I'll fish with my old grandpa. So didn't get to last year, the year before I didn't go. And so that leaves three years ago was the last time I went and we didn't catch crap. So that kind of sucked. Like, there's a little dock that's just out into the water for you to put your boat in. That's where you're supposed to put your boat in the water. So the guys were, like, sitting on the end of it, and they just had their uh, fishing rods. Like, they were sitting there, uh, for, you know, hey, I haven't gone fishing. I don't know half the terminology. They were, like, sitting out... I'll just say they're hooks. They were casting off like perpendicular to how the dock stuck in the water, so like not really taking advantage of the fact that they're facing it. So we really had like no room to put down our uh cast and I am like really not explaining this well. But so they were just talking in the end, not really using the fact that they had access to like the middle of the lake from where they're sitting. I don't know, we asked them to move since they weren't gonna cast off towards the middle of the lake and they're like, oh screw you man. So that sucked, we kinda got screwed in that aspect, but whatever. You know. I think the best haul I've ever caught fishing was like 12 fish. I would just cast off and then two seconds later I'd get a bite. That was a nice day. And yeah, that's fishing for you. One day you catch all the fish in the lake and the next you don't catch crap. So there's that. And yeah, this I ruined that guy's proposal, but anywho, there's a Snorlax. So, in the next part, we're going to take on this bastard who blocked my path. See you guys then.